What up all my woke folk? It's sky is falling here. It's me. And today I'm talking about Blackish. If you haven't already seen this show, then you know you're doing yourself a favor. If you are watching this show, just make sure your kids aren't watching this. Anywho, let's get right into it. So I'm noticing that this show has some severe programming as does everything. But this show, they're trying to be like the Cosby shows. They're trying to cre- recreate uh, an, an all black, sh- I mean, an all black show, but I mean, I don't even watch TV that much to know what other TV shows are out there. And if there are other TV shows trying to do this, but the program that they have in this, in this series is well, phenomenal. So I want to talk about a couple of episodes in specific and just let you know, you know, what they're trying to get you to do. So the first episode I wanted to discuss is junior having sex. Yes, that's right. Junior is the tall, um, he's the oldest boy. And apparently Dre, the dad, finds out that he's having sex just because of how he's walking or something like that. And I can't even remember. I haven't seen this episode. I seen it like last month, I think. And it's crazy because he's so happy. He like, he gives him a pound and you know, it's all cool. And the mom is like, Dre, why are you glorifying this? Da, 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 da. And it's not like she's like disciplining him either. Like she's not, they're not, the main thing about this, they were not disciplining their kid for having sex before marriage. And which we all know that it ain't the way God said to do it. So the thing that they're trying to do, the thing that, the another thing that happens is she says that Zoe is having sex and that's the oldest daughter. And, it, you know, it's, <sighs> The thing is, it's they're all like, and throughout the show, they're all sad, like, oh, my baby, my baby girl's having sex. It's so different that it's different, you know, when a girl loses her virginity, ugh, I'm sorry, loses her virginity than when a guy loses his virginity. It's better when a guy loses it, and it's not good when a girl loses it. But either way, I'm not gonna discipline my kids for having sex because, you know, they're 16, they're 15, they're old enough to have sex. That's basically what they're telling the parents, and they're making light of it, you know, like, that's what they're doing on the show. And they, and I just I just was in awe. I was in shock. And one thing that they did do in that in that episode specifically, they did this parody of Get Out, um, which was ridiculous. Like he found out that his daughter was having sex and he went to the sunken place. Yeah, haha, that was pretty funny. But the overall picture, the overall the overall idea was to, you know, say, Oh, it's okay. Like, oh, um, you're not going to be mad that your daughter's out having sex, that your your son's out having sex. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Another episode I wanted to talk about is the twins. The, those are the younger boy. That's the younger boy and the younger girl. And they had like some career day at their, at their school. And so um, the, the youngest boy, he got back on his test that he was going to be a laborer. And everyone's like, Oh no, that's awful. And the little boy was so excited and he wanted to learn how to plumb. Um, Grandpa was showing, AKA Lawrence Fishburne was showing him how to, you know, plumb a toilet, plunge a toilet and stuff like that. And they're like saying, doing those kind of things are, you know, bad and it's not great. You know, you should be a marketer like me, your dad. And it's like, well, yeah, marketing's cool and all, but you know, when everything hits the fan, that's just, you know, it's it's not that important to know. And it's pretty obvious what they're doing. They tr- they're trying to brainwash you and tell you and like subliminally, subconsciously tell you, you know, you need to have a, a job where you dress up nice and look good, you know, because that's what is most important. That's what matters, you know, common knowledge on being a man and doing things isn't isn't needed. You know, we can hire someone for that. No, that's straight BS. And the grandfather there is trying to tell them to do it, but they're still making light of it because in that episode, they pretend to break their back and they don't work anyway. So in retrospect, they're telling you to not work and, and, and do what you can for money. Like, not do what you can, but like, do minimal. Like, don't use your hands. When you actually need to use your hands, they're basically, they're just trying to dumb us down so that we don't know how to do anything, so that we rely on the government for everything. Do you catch what I am saying? If you do, leave a comment in the comment box. No, gang! Third episode I want to get into is about Diane. Now, that is the youngest girl, 
And there was this there was this episode where she where the grandmother thought she was possessed by the devil because she was just doing all these devilish things and whatever, whatever. And the the thing is, in this show, they were making light of it. If she really was possessed by a devil, you know, the writers and producer of the show is making it funny. Like, you know what I mean? So the the kids play a prank on their grandmother and, you know, have her stand over her watching her as she's sleeping and the grandmother shows in the videotape and she and they're like, Grandma, what are you doing with a videotape in your room? You know, it's very perverse and it's just ridiculous. And trying to throw holy water on her and the whole time it was some some type of alcohol. And, and you know, it's just very contradicting. And the grandmother is supposed to be the one that's the Christian and or the Jesus believer, whatever they call themselves these days, because there's so many names for everything. So many different names that don't mean what it should mean, a Christian. But anyways, I mean, that's this this show is very it's very catchy. You know what I mean? You know when when the show is really interesting and fun to watch? Yeah, I can see that. But when you watch TV, your mind goes off. You're so focused in another person's life that your mind stops working and it only focuses on what they're on what you're watching. And so that's why it's easy to program. That's why they created a tell lie vision. Now, okay. And another the last thing I want to talk about is just Dre. Dre is very sociopathic. Like he told his kid in the Disney Channel, I mean, in the Disney World episode that he hates him. Just because they weren't grateful for something. And it's like, well, they're not grateful for it because you ain't making them grateful because you you letting them go on VIP. Like, this show is a trip. Yes, it's very extreme. And obviously, it's, f- it's fake. But, you know, if someone's watching this, they're going to act like it. It's really hard not to, to act like what you watch, you know, or to want to be what you watch. So he acts very ridiculous. He tells his kid that he hates them. He's he even says that everything's about him and Bo knows that everything, the wife knows everything is about him. And it's like he doesn't even love his family. Like, oh my gosh, it's it's crazy. It's like if you actually think about the show in retrospect and everything like how it is, like what goes on, it's like is this normal? Like is this something good to watch? Do you think your kids should watch this? Probably not. So I thank you guys for listening to my channel. Um, I've had some things happen this past couple of weeks. Um, It's been really hard. But I'm picking myself back up. And I still believe in what I believe. And I love you guys. And I love this channel. And I'm glad that you guys are here. Um, I'm just really thankful for it. For getting to 8,000 subscribers. I'm like reaching so many of you and I'm really glad um I'm thinking about doing something in DC I don't know I don't know but I just thought I'd put that out there because that might be something that's gonna happen within the next couple of months um I feel like I want to make another video about what I'm what I'm doing now because me and my fiance are trying to move to Texas we think we might actually do that but I'm not sure. There's just a lot of things going on. God is really good. You know, we're we're praying for revival in our city right now. And a lot of stuff's going on. So I really appreciate you guys. I'm not going to ramble like I always do, which I should just do because I always do it. What sense does that make? Okay, bye. Should I sing?